here and let's go okay ahead solid and tutorial yeah buttons we like that set our stat all right, so yeah, I agree. There's some plenty of problems, problems issues so inside is, of this. Now let's take a look at, it. holy mother of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What? Hey, what's up with the- created several buttons and several- Why? Wait. Or something. Uh, and if I open these up, you can see I've actually created several buttons and several date properties. So basically, if you're a team and you want to track the dates at which each stage of a project are completed, you could use buttons to do that. So I could do start project, boom. The pro I don't understand why you do this. This makes no sense. Project was started January 31st, 2024 at 1044 AM. And I could do the same thing for all these different stages. I could do complete and you could see- <laughs> Brother, 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 do not do this. All right, Tom, we love you, but we gotta talk about an issue that's coming into fruition with a lot of these tutorials from people. Okay, so sometimes products come up with these updates and uh, you know, maybe for certain reasons, we'd wanna show specific use cases on how to use the product. I've made a video on that update, the Notion buttons update to the button property. However, I can't look at this with a straight face and without having a mild cardiac dysrhythmia. Do not need in Notion to make a property to coincide with a bunch of different dates because what you can do is utilize the automations feature. So if I were to press add trigger, status is set to, and then you see how he has it right here with the date for like finished writing, writing finished, project started, that kind of thing. All we'd have to do is uh, set it so that status was changed to something, right? Say it was set to creating, then we'd make it so that, you know, Another property like completed date would be done. So you just could make some automations which wouldn't clutter the entirety of your dang setup, right? So say for example, this guy changed to creating. Notice the completed date is February 27th at 2.20 p.m. And if you wanted to make a bunch of different properties with the specific names, you could. But Tom, buddy, this isn't against you. This is against the entirety of our community. We gotta stop showing use cases to things for specific updates that could just completely mess up somebody's Notion workspace. Use the better example. Don't use the example that makes somebody have 20 properties for five properties. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna ask the audience. Based on what you see here, you'd think that that would be the better option. And while it very well could be the better option for you, for the majority of people, if you wanna have a clean workspace, it's the worst option and will always be the worst option because having something automatically happen and also have literally five less properties to keep everything clean is the better choice. And I'm not gonna make it a problem about Thomas, I'm not. But what we see here is a common thing that happens in a bunch of these videos where we as Notion YouTubers or productivity YouTubers see an update for a product and we're like, oh man, this, uh, we gotta make a video about it because um, clicks and views. And then the property just doesn't have merit to it and similar to me i made a video on it but i'm pretty sure i called out how there was no purpose to it he has a whole critique section so i'm not saying he's not doing his due diligence on saying there's critiques but i think it's better to not showcase an example that's awful for data integrity than uh you know just just showing something that it can be used for even though why would you do this for any reason when there's another option like if automations didn't exist i'd understand but this is just cause to mess people's days up when working inside of Notion. You don't need these many buttons. And as I had mentioned previously in my other video, you can literally set it up so that if the button was inside of the page, it could do the same thing and wouldn't take up property space. So just a thought. And at least with the automations, they're kind of like hidden from sight. You can pause and delete them very easily. I'm just a little bit frustrated by this. Maybe I'm in the minority. I'd rather just admit that the update stinks and tell the public that it's a waste of their time to use it because I can't find a reason to use the button property because as Thomas eloquently put, they should have used it for things like webhooks. Because my guy, Alex, aka a Notioneer, has the app Tapti, which allows people to press a button and implement automations using webhooks inside of Notion with an embed. And he is just some dude from the UK. And Notion's valued at $10 billion and they want me to give them a little pat on the back and a good job and a let's make a video about it because they made a property that should have existed three years ago. Sorry, I got a little heated, I know, but just watch this man made this bootstrapped by himself. Costs you $5 a month, shout out. I don't even have, I don't think he even has an affiliate program. And if he does, I'll sign up for that because I've plugged him. Yep, he does, okay. Plugged him four times. This is my main problem with us 
as Notion and productivity app YouTubers. Making a video for the sake of making a video without ripping the update and making it abundantly clear that the update might just make your workspace more cluttered if you use it needs to be done more. I'm not that mad, I just, just felt like making a video about this because it, it did trigger me that he had a page with 10 properties that should have been five. And that extrapolated across three videos in itself could make the amount of properties you have on your database more than are needed, 3X. Don't take our word as gospel. We just make videos on the internet, including myself. Half the time, I don't know what I'm saying. But I do know Thomas is one of my favorites. This was fun in games. And you'll have more funs in games and learn how to actually improve your productivity by checking out videos like this one and improve your skills using productivity tools even more.